Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about something that I think may be a little bit touchy, but I just wanted to go there. So I would love to hear your thoughts here in the comments on what you think, like what kind of pregnant mom is like more right or like who's wrong? Like is it better to be that mom that um, is more concerned during pregnancy about her body and about not piling on the pounds or is that selfish and wrong and is a mom more right for being more concerned about just having a healthy baby you know which one's right so I, I wanted to come on here and tell you my thoughts and I think it's gonna be a little bit of a shocking truth when I start telling you my stance on this. Um, but I think that if you hear me out, uh, it may make an impact on the rest of your pregnancy if you are pregnant right now. So before I tell you that, and I also wanna share with you why uh, my stand on this question is what gave me the motivation to have an amazing pregnancy, a super fit pregnancy, even though it was an extremely hard pregnancy with a lot of obstacles. Like I had a lot of things go wrong, go bad with my second pregnancy and I was still able to have a super fit pregnancy. It did not pile on the pounds and I walked out of the hospital in my jeans. And I really believe that it's the motivation from where I'm, my stance on this that helps me do that. And I wanna share that with you in hopes that it will help you also, because sometimes all we need is a little bit of a mindset shift. So, um, before I start, I just want to introduce myself in case you have not met me yet. I am Michelle Marie. I am the creator of the Fit Mom to Be Pregnancy Workout Program and the MMF Pregnancy Nutrition Plan. I have been a fitness and health expert for almost 20 years, of which the last 10 years I've just focused on uh, pregnancy, pregnant women, and postpartum moms. And um, to this date, I've helped almost 100,000 pregnant women have healthy fit pregnancies. Like, it just blows my mind that it's that many now. So anyways, let's get right into it because I don't want to waste your time and I, I this is something I really want to talk about. So um, here, here, here's where I stand on this. I actually think that the mom that is more concerned about her body and about not piling on the pounds is a little bit better off judge me if you'd like but give me a second okay so here's the thing um, I think that a, a lot of times when when women say that they don't care about their body they don't care about how they look they just want a healthy baby I think that's a little bit of, of a front I think that's a little bit of um, just maybe fear that they're not sure they can have a fit pregnancy, um, a fear that they're not going to, maybe because of past experiences they have, they've had, and that's just a front. So I think that, that a lot of women, like for myself, I was concerned. I was very worried about what would happen to my body, if I would ever be able to get my body back um, during my pregnancy. And sometimes I would feel a little bit guilty have you ever felt that way like have you ever felt guilty for being too concerned about like the way you looked you know during your pregnancy I remember being like like I shouldn't I should just want a healthy baby like I it shouldn't matter I shouldn't be so stressed but I was and the reality is is that sometimes you guys we are concerned about these things about how we look about our bodies when pregnant because of past fears because of past things, pains that have hurt us in the past. So for example, for me, and like, I, I would think to myself, I shouldn't be so worried. I shouldn't be so concerned. It's like, I'm a trainer. You know, my, my first pregnancy was eight years ago and I'd already been a trainer for 12 years. I knew what to do. Like, I knew I knew what to do, but I didn't feel like it was in my control. Like, and because of past experiences. So my mom, um, she has, she has stretch marks, like tons of stretch marks. My mom was never, to this day, I am 38 years old, she was never able to get her body back. My aunts, all of them, stretch marks, never got their bodies back. Always, my, my mom and all my aunts always, you know, had, had issues with eating and with their bodies and getting in shape. Like they were, it was like a struggle for all of them. And so 
I thought that because that was a problem for them, it was going to be a problem for me. And I knew, you guys, I knew that I knew what to do, that this had been my life for 12 years, and that, of course, I know how to have a healthy pregnancy, but I just, for some reason, felt like it was not in my control. So I allowed subconsciously for my past pains and my past experiences to kind of control how I was feeling. So I became very afraid of what would happen to me or to my body when I was pregnant because of that. You know, I also had a lot of friends. I had a, a lot of friends get pregnant before me and I saw what they went through and some of them were very healthy girls and some of them weren't, but I saw what pregnancy did to their bodies and it scared me. So seeing other people's experiences scared me because I thought it would happen to me. So but, so d does that make it wrong? Does that make it does that make me like a bad mom because I'm concerned about my body and the way I look? That doesn't mean that that I don't want a healthy baby. Of course that's my concern like Duh, you know, like of course that's my main concern, but I'm also very concerned about how I look and that shouldn't be wrong. You know why? You know why I think that, that, that mothers that are super concerned about their bodies and about piling on the pounds during pregnancy are, are, are a little bit, gonna be a little bit better off? The reason is when you are so like afraid of something, when you are so adamant about something, it gives you like this inner strength and this like inner motivation to like do whatever it takes. So because I was so concerned about what would happen to my body when I was pregnant, I like said to myself, I am not gonna let this happen to me. Like just because this happened to my mom doesn't mean it has to happen to me. Just because my aunt had, you know, a not healthy, you know, just because she was never able to get her body back doesn't mean that I can't. So I'm going to do everything I can while pregnant to make sure I have a healthy pregnancy and a healthy body. And guess what happens by me focusing on eating healthy and on exercising and goal being have a healthy and fit body. My baby is going to be way healthier. I'm going to be creating inside of my body a way better of a, a, a place for my baby to grow and flourish in. Nutrition is everything when you're pregnant. You are building your baby's genetics inside of you. You know, you there's so many things most most people most women don't know, but there are so many things that can go wrong during pregnancy. You know, diabetes gestational diabetes or pregnancy induced thyroid issues like so many things can go wrong and nutrition can help so much with that yet we don't pay attention to it but guess what when you're super stressed about end result right here being you know your body piling on the pounds getting your body back it gives you that superpower motivation to do something about it you know, exercise affects your baby huge, big time. You know, it, it, I read a study that said that, that women who exercise during pregnancy had babies with higher IQs, had children with higher IQs. Is that not crazy? So guess what? The mama who's stressed out about her body and who's, you know, motivated to exercise and is exercising may just have a healthy, super smart, healthy baby. So why is it wrong to be concerned about those things? As long as those things motivate you to do something that's good. So I really, really think that my fear of losing my body, of piling on the pounds, of getting stretch marks is the, the, the thing, the motivation that got me to, 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 to do whatever it takes to exercise. And listen, my second pregnancy was Hard. I had placenta previa, so I was in bed, on bed rest for like five months. I then fractured my toe, so I couldn't exercise for like four or five months. And then when I finally got clearance to exercise, I fractured my toe. But I was like, I, I can't, I can't do this. I gotta exercise, it's good for my baby, it's good for me, it's gonna help me not pile the pounds on, it's gonna help me tone my body, my baby's gonna be smarter. I actually would go to the gym like six months pregnant, you guys, and with crutches on 
like hobbling over the gym and would do upper body. I would do upper body like four times a week. I, I was determined to not be a victim of my pregnancy, to not have to have the same experience that like maybe my mother had or my aunts had, you know, or my friends had just because they didn't have, you, you know, just because that happened to them didn't mean it had to happen to me. And that's where I was coming from a place of fear. But I still exercise. I got the flu and I was super sick and I still found a way. And I, I was so scared because now I had another pregnancy to compare it to. So my first pregnancy was like an amazing pregnancy. I was able to work out the whole time. I didn't feel sick at all. I lost all, all, all the pounds within like weeks. I walked out of the hospital in my jeans. But the second pregnancy was so hard. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to be able to, to do the same thing. And what will people say when they see me and what will they think and because my my motivation to, 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 to not be that mom that maybe doesn't care about their body and just cares about having a healthy baby was able to get me to have two super healthy babies uh, and two super amazing pregnancies where I did not pile on the pounds 20 pounds is all I gained in both pregnancies literally walked out in jeans which was like something i didn't think was possible like even though i'm a trainer and even though i'd have been a trainer by that point for like 12 years i was like that's like impossible but like inside of me like i never said it because i never wanted to be like held accountable for it but i always like that was like my dream i was like i just want to be like those girls like those girls that walk out of the hospital in their jeans like i know that's so few and far in between but like inside of me i really wanted that and i was able to do it and I now thank those fears that I had of ruining my body, of getting stretch marks, of never getting my body back, to giving me the motivation and the willpower and the consistency and the determination and the drive to do everything I could to have healthy pregnancies and fit pregnancies. So listen, if that's you, if um, you sometimes feel guilty for worrying about how you look and about your body and about you know worried you may never get your body back don't feel bad about it stop it with the mom guilt us moms we have to deal with enough mom guilt don't feel guilty about it it's okay because you know what you're doing something good you're the that the exercise you're doing and the eating right that you're doing you know in concern because of the concern you have for your body is helping your baby like you have no idea. So listen, I'm not trying to judge the mom that isn't concerned about their body, that's just concerned about a healthy baby. I'm just saying there's no reason to, like that's fine. Of course, I know firsthand the benefits of exercising during pregnancy. I know firsthand the benefits of eating right during pregnancy, both for mom and baby. So of course I want you to exercise and to eat healthy when pregnant, but I'm not gonna judge you. I've seen some women be able to have fine pregnancies and not focus on those things, but I'm just saying, just don't judge those moms that you hear being so worried and concerned and like flustered with the whole like body thing and the pregnancy thing, because those moms will find it inside of them to use the, the, those fears they have to have super healthy babies. And they may not be voicing out loud that they wanna have a healthy baby because that's like, you just know that, right? We all wanna have, what mom doesn't wanna have a healthy baby? It's just that like, that's the, like, the fear that we have. Like we're like, we think, of course we're gonna have a healthy baby, like God loves us, we're gonna have a healthy baby, but like we're not sure, right, that we're gonna, not gain like a ton of pounds. We're not sure we are, you know, gonna be able to get our bodies back. So just don't judge that mom. And if you are that mom that's concerned, I just wanna tell you to use, use that fear that you have. Use that concern that you have about your body or about never getting your body back, about the pounds, you know, piling on too quickly. Use that as ammunition as motivation, as determination to get up four, at least four times a week and exercise, to make healthy choices when you're eating. Because 
they will impact your pregnancy and you will have a healthier and more fit pregnancy and be able to get your body back way faster if you do those things. So do it. And listen, if you're, if you're watching, whether um, you're watching this live or not, I just want to encourage you that if you don't have a plan and you're like, I do, I do, I want to, I want to work out, and I, but I'm just so tired and I'm, I'm just not motivated and you know, I don't have accountability and I just don't know what's safe and what's not, I just want to encourage you to get a plan. Like, yeah, I'm actually saying pay for a plan. And of course, I'm going to tell you my program is amazing. I've had 100,000 women go through it. And I have a private Facebook group community of amazing women who are supportive and encouraging and inspiring that they help each other. And, and I know the benefits they get on a daily basis. So of course, I want to tell you to do mine. But I just want you to do, I want you to put money on the line. Like I want you right now, whether it's my program or somebody else's, I want you to pay for a program because guess what happens when you put money on the line? You stick to something way more. So like that's that's me. Like I if, if I want to do something in business, like I don't just like go to YouTube and YouTube how to do it. I don't just go on Pinterest and like I pay for it because I know that when I pay for things, I'm like I am going to get my money's worth and I am going to do this. So a lot of times putting money on the line even though it sucks, even though sometimes it means a sacrifice of giving up something else to put money on the line, you know, you tend to, to, to stick to it more. So girlfriend, I'm here today to say that if you've been concerned about your body, about piling on the pounds, about fearing that you may not get your body back, and um, if that's how you feel, I want you to put money on the line. Mom. This is my Mom. little baby, and Mom. I... This is live, so I want you to put money on the line. Find a program, pay for it, I don't care how much it is, probably the more expensive the better, because once you pay, you are gonna do it and you are going to finish it. So I will go ahead and post links right here in the comments, and um, if you have any questions about the programs or about exercise or about anything, um, just post it right here in the comments, and I would love to hear from you. I would love to know where where you stand in this like do you are you and just be honest it's okay I told you I'm not judging you I don't know about everybody else here but I'm not judging you but I would love to know if you have been just focusing on having a healthy baby like that's all you care about or if you are focused on like what pregnancy could do to your body I would love to know where you stand on that and I will respond to all the comments in the mess in, in the comments area. So if you're watching in this, this on the replay, um, go ahead and post your comments or questions there and I will talk to you soon. Bye.